Let's put the box in like that. Open the box, loot that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Lazner video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a cool trick that you can use for farm. As you can see, we got a barn key sitting around here. I could delete that right now. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do it. How we got the barn key is we did farm in the previous video, but we did not open the barn. We just kept this barn key and went home. Note that this trick is for more advanced players. And if you're a beginner, please click off this video and go watch my actual video on how to do farm for beginners because this is not for beginners. Just saying. What I'm going to take is only spears. The only thing that you will not get from doing this is you won't get season points because we're now going to be killing almost all of the zombies in the farm. We're going to skip through all of the zombies. The 20 carrots should be enough, but I'm taking a little bit more. This is going to be my first time doing it, so let's see how it goes. Also, I'm not going to be taking a tactical backpack because you probably most of you will not have a tactical backpack. So let's swap that out. And we have now only this amount of slots. We are losing five slots. Before I go, I'm gonna suicide here. And the thing is, you could bring your chopper for more storage if you do have your chopper. If you don't have your chopper, that's completely fine. I'm gonna be using my chopper here. Most people already unlock chopper after like four or five days. You will have extra two slots, if not even more than that, eight slots. Now I'm gonna take out the gas because that gas could be potential. One more storage. It's farming time. All right, we have arrived at the farm. So what we're gonna do first is kill the ravager let's go through the zombies first that is blocking our pathway so aggro this guy pretty easy stuff right here pretty simple and straightforward so let's kill this dude punch him to death all right crouch finish off these guys now i could have brought a better sneak attack weapon but right now i didn't so i will like if i brought a rotine i could instantly kill them in one shot that's completely fine let's deal with the savage giant right here let's get him alert to this wall and now kill him We'll take a little bit of time, so see you guys when this guy's dead. And for the funsies, good night. All right, so I forgot to loot this box, so let's make sure you loot this box since we're going to be using this for storage later. So whatever you get, loot it. I can just delete it. I will not need this. You might need this. Keep this if you will. I will not need it. Uh, this food, though, I need to get rid of. Let's also loot this. This sometimes can give you a green ticket. This could give us a green ticket right now. Maybe it won't. But yeah, we got a green ticket. I'm not going to take that, though. We're going to be using this only for storage and nothing else. So there's raiders, as you can see, on the top right. That means we will not be able to go through the side when luring the zombies. So I'll basically just have to run around the other side and not in front of the raiders. Because if I run in front of the raiders, they will just chase me. And will do a lot of damage while I'm running around opening the farm box. So we're going to have to go through the middle here over and over. All right. We have to kill all of these zombies here. So the Ravager has came to us, which is nice. We're going to deal with him just like this. With a spear. Nothing else. Smack him in the face while he's staring at us. That's the best thing you can do to kill the Ravager. That is lovely. Always kill him like this. Don't have to wall trick, don't have to do anything. Just walk backwards, hit him once, run away. The bull is staring at me as well. I don't know why he's there, but bro is annoying. All right, we have cleared the Ravager. Now, next thing we need to go is go in the middle, go over here. Now, you don't have to crouch through here. You could actually go through the left side to the top. I'll show you later what I mean. To dodge the Savage Giant, he will not see you ever. Uh, we have to go here. Open the barn, obviously. Loot the chopper. Don't do anything with the blue box yet. We're only just looting the chopper for now. Just, I'm going to take it actually. I'm going to just actually take it and uh, put it closer. Put the box closer here. We will use it later. And again, we got the barn key because we did farm previously and we did not open the barn. So now we have access to the barn blue chest pretty much by just straight going into the zone just like that because we saved the key so next up we have to do is clear the zombies below here aggro that guy use my spear to kill them now if two spears is not enough i brought one spear and a half spear so that's probably not gonna be enough but what you could do is bring two spears if unmodded for sure you'll need two spears uh, if modded one and a half should be fine but anyways it's six logs dude do we really care about spears man if you brought too many spears you can always delete them or get rid of them you know and after this you have to loot the house like if you don't loot the house it's not gonna be good news because after you put the blue box for cutting you will not be able to basically loot this house anymore so I, I now i'm just gonna loot everything here we got 
make sure you loot everything you get and then we will organize the inventory later. So wall check this guy, open the door here, of course, if you have burglar skill. If you don't have burglar skill, well then GG, just get out of here. But since I have burglar skill, let's loot this house here. Alrighty, deal with this fatty. Loot everything. Oh, we got a flare gun that is very beautiful. I'm just gonna start deleting some stuff. Like, I don't need these, I don't need these, I don't need a hammer. I'm um, gonna just heal up, even though I have self-healing, but self-healing I will use when I'm running around and gathering the zombies. I don't need the camera, and the rest can go to your chopper or, you know, wherever else. Alright, there you go. So we got all the loot now that we need. This spear, you will not need anymore. You can delete it. You basically need to have one slot of free inventory space. And one thing I don't advise doing is healing with beans. Because beans, when you heal with them, they will still use up one slot of your inventory which wastes one slot and that means yeah you will not be able to get more items anyways this is how you can dodge the savage giant just go here hug the walls and yeah dude is not gonna see you let's also get sprint you need sprint for this it's gonna save you some time and make you run faster when luring the zombies so just take that okay so now we can put all the stuff in here I will not put it here though, it's a little bit too far from the chopper. I'm gonna put it in this car, boom. 20 carrots honestly should be enough for this. Uh, let's put the gas in here, see, this is why you empty the gas, so you have more slots. And there you go, this should be enough of heals to literally do this trick. What do we do now? Now, we go to the blue box. Okay, skip through the zombies here, make sure you don't get noticed. Our sprint is available, that means we can already sprint. Medkit is gonna, kinda gonna be wasting my space. I don't know what we're gonna do with that medkit, brother. I might actually even get rid of it. Because you will don't you will not have time to open your inventory while there's one million zombies chasing you. So let's put the box in like that. And now what you gotta do is just run around, run around, run around until the box opens. Make sure you don't get as much damage because make sure you don't aggro the bull. I already aggroed him, so yeah, GG. But uh just run around from this side here. Also, try to not run through the hay bales, but I already did so. Bad advice. Anyways, make sure you heal up. And let's go through this side now. Just like that, just like that. Now, what you could do, actually... I'm gonna start using sprint and self-healing, just like that. Now, we're gonna do... Open the box, loot that. And we have looted everything, pretty much. I had to spam my heals, pretty much. I also did not take all the loot. But here goes your heals. All of that is gone. But we made it. But yeah, that's the trick, as you can see. We did waste 20 carrots and like 3 bandages. But that's literally the same amount you need to do the wolf farm. Plus, it's way faster. So with all the loot that we got now, I could swap this armor out, right? Another thing is, it's it's not that efficient with a military backpack. You need a tactical backpack for this. With a tactical backpack, it's way faster, way easier. You just press take all and run away. So that's why I took so long and took so much damage. Also, I did another mistake is that you have to self-heal when you're about to open the box. Because self-heal will save you so many heals. And it will self-heal you while you're looting the box. Because while you're looting the box, you're obviously gonna get damaged. You cannot heal while you're in the box. So self-heal is gonna be your guarding angel right there. But all of this stuff that we got, you can take out this stuff, right? Put everything that you got in your chopper. Delete the unnecessary stuff you don't need. And let's put away that. Let's get rid of this. We got some medkits, seal plates, cool beans. Uh, none of the loot is gonna go to waste. So pretty much... If you have enough inventory space, that's cool. You will be able to carry even more. So now we have enough slots, right? Since all the zombies are aggroed on the box, you can freely loot every single box without having to worry about any zombie. Nothing. And you get all of the loot as well, which is cool. So look at that. Boom, open this chest, some mushrooms, some coal, some copper. Don't have to delete anything. Now let's go to the bottom chest that there is here. There's raiders here, so try to not aggro them. This guy does not move, only the other one patrols. So while that guy is patrolling around, let's loot this box here for free. Loot everything. No danger stranger here. 
Now we can go to the bottom. Again, all the zombies are at the blue box, so we don't have to worry about anything. Now the zombies might come out here, actually. Let's see if they do. No, they don't. So I can loot this and no zombies will come out of the hay bale. All right, and there you go. We got a barn key just like that. And now what you do next is repeat the same steps over and over in the next farm run. Let's delete the ball bearings. I will not need that. And there's a puppy here. So make sure we yoink that. Our puppy now. And that's it. There's no more chests other than three chests maximum per farm run. So you get only three chests. And since we looted the blue box fully and the house fully, you don't have to come back there. So master this method and you will be able to do farm in literally two minutes or so. At this point, let me see you, your guys' speedruns and how you do this farm. In my Discord, post a video or something. Whoever's gonna speedrun the fastest, I'm literally gonna give you a special Discord role in my Discord server. That is it for this video chat. I hope you enjoyed. It was pretty fun testing this method, and I can tell you that if you use a tactical backpack instead of a military backpack, this is gonna be way, way, way more efficient. So let me know how this goes, chat. Again, this is not for beginners. If this is your first time doing farm as a beginner, please don't attempt it. Do this only if you're experienced because I can guarantee you, you will die probably around 10 times for your first time. Even if you've done the farm a lot, you could die. This is kind of complicated. I wish you guys luck and enjoy doing farm like this. It's kind of fun and it's pretty fast. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace out.